Well, I know I'll be doing another update video but it's early, but it's about World War II DLC 3. They only showed us the three new multiplayer maps. One's really caught my attention, Stalingrad. But that's it. No zombies, like Sodomo. What are you doing? Why aren't you showing us that? I don't know, but come on. Why? Why not show zombies? Yeah, that's garbage shower. I'll have another most of the time now, so I'm not really fussed. But still, that's the thing. They don't show zombies in a trailer. This is really, really stupid. But yeah, we've killed the job. What else can they show? But they have leaked up the trophies for the new map. So why aren't they showing us anything for the new map? Tell me that. Hey, tell me that. And another thing, I finally got a new phone. So yeah, the camera quality is a lot better than what it was on this. So no more buzzing in the videos, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, for those of you who know, I've got an iPhone 8 red now. So yeah, new phone, bad camera, better vlogs. These two, useless, just spares. So that's it. But yeah, Black Ops 4 time. Jason Blundell released quite a bit at E3, and I mean quite a bit. He said it that we have a fourth map, which we've all been talking about for a while, which is called Classified, because it was introduced with the three new editions. I've got the normal deluxe edition, which is about, what, 80, 90 quid? So it's not that much. And I get a Black Ops Pass, which, I've got a minute, 1100 cup points, which, not really fussed, I've put it towards the supplies or something like that. A couple more things, four zombie maps, 12 more player maps, that's it. And classified, which is, believe it or not, a remake from Black Ops 1. And it's not Call of the Dead, it's 5. Now, 5 is one of those challenging maps, and I prefer that to Shangri La, just because I can actually get high rounds on 5. Because 5, I spent mm, pretty much, it was the third or fourth map on Black Ops 1 that I spent mo most of my time on, which is. Because it went Kino, Call of the Dead, Moon, 5. That was it. And that's just it. 5 get remastered, I'm just going to love it. If they bring in the Mittas How, mm, it depends how they do with it. If they make it better and give them more armor, I'll be fine with it. If they up the damage up, that's good. Or they bring in something new, because it is the Ultimate Crew. So it's the original 4 from like Black Ops 1 days. So if we bring bringing them back, we might get something else in there. We don't know. We might get the Thunder Gun, the Wonder Wolf. We could get anything. Listen, we could get anything. And that's just it. I'm glad to see Five come back on new gen, and it's gonna look amazing. He also said something else because with World War Two and pretty much Infinite Warfare, he had to be set up. They probably only can't be storm pistol them, but you can actually customize your own setup. So you start the weapon. Your grenades, your special grenades, your equipment, your specialist equipment. Get this, specialist. That's going to be interesting. And you also said something else. Perk vapors. I'm not sure to say it. I'm one of them. I've been doing it for the past three years. Stress free. As uh, so we keep, well, calm at work. I work in the kitchen. And it's all stressful in there. This just keeps me sane. But that's it. It's just stress free. Never done drugs, never done weed. I had a bag when I was like 16, but that's way back in the past. And really, that's it. That's just it. And they also said that there's 10 different vapors. So what are they doing? Are they bringing back the original eight? Or are they bringing back those wine? Let it cherry? PhD? Team soon? Who soon? We don't know what they could bring back. But I can guarantee that one of them will be a new one. Because with everyone they've released a new perk. But we need... I was a bit shocked that the only one we got on Black Ops 3 was Widow's Wine. So they're bringing... I might see how it cracks off. But I think they will bring in another new one. Because it's true, like, they always bring in new perks. And not even all of those, they rip off perks from this one. And speaking of Black Ops 3, in that matter, if you don't, if you got Black Ops 4 ordered or got it digitally downloaded, you can get the M14 in Zombies. Now we've seen what's like with Double Tap, and it's quite decent in the high rounds. But now they get a new look, a bit more ammo, and you can actually get the actual repacked abilities on it. It's really good because not many guns from that camp 
of game didn't get that much ammo because the AK74U got its origins extended clip one. The Gorilla didn't gain any ammo at all. No. FAR was a bit was a we found FAMAS, it got a lot more. The PPSH lost ten rounds and the M16 gained a full clip but lost a full auto and gained a burst auto. So yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. The M14 was actually quite decent back in the day, but looking at it now, I'm not sure. But what else can we go for from here? We've got less than four months until the release of the game. And I'm just looking forward to it, but my only issue is I've got the beta code, but I don't know if I can play the beta because I've no idea when it's coming out. It may come out before I go away, from August the 14th to 28th, or during the time when I'm there. If it's during the time I'm there, I really can't get gameplay for it. So if I can't, I apologize. But if it comes out after or before, I'll be fine. If it comes out before, I can record and record and record and record non-stop. Just smash every single video out, so you know, like the first three games, how good the weapons are, what I rate them, um, my, weapon, my best weapons in the beta, you name it. I'm just going to do all of that. Just get all out of the way and sorted. That's got a shot and I'm still knackered. It's what? Half past ten in the morning. So, yeah. That's just me. I'm tired and I'm making a video. It's pretty really okay, I am. And my hair's still a mess. But then again, it's always a mess. That's why I wear a hat or a bandana. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. So you also think forward to not much showing about zombies, I'm concerned. Because World War 2's not even had a good zombies one yet, so we'll see how this cracks off. Black Ops 4's released a lot more stuff, and we're closer to the release of the game, so we'll see how that goes. Black Ops 3 introduced in 14, and that's all we know so far. And that's just it. Well, it's going to go from here, in the next four months with Black Ops 4, and with Black Ops 3. We'll find out. That's all for me. I'll see you guys in a bit. Like, comment, subscribe, notification button. Oh wait, no. I forgot something. I went to EMCon, not last year, last month, where I met Jason David Frank. My idol, a legend, a man of his own rights. I look up to this guy. It was the reason why I did karate much last when I was a kid. And I really want to get back into it. But I just heard that him and Amy Jo Johnson are coming to EMCOM Nottingham next year. If I can get tickets for that and get the Ranger Combo VIP pass, you can expect me to record that again. Because seeing him again is just, well, once was the last, once was the last time opportunity, but seeing him again would just be a blessing. And see the original Big Ranger would be even more of a blessing. But here's the thing. I have a bit of a goal, to be fair. And that is to get this signed by every single original cast. So from season one to season three of My Morphin, except Fly Train, rest in peace. The original Yellow Ranger passed away near enough 20 years ago. So I can't get her signature, but I can still get Karen Ashley's. But she's still out the place for me for this. Rest in peace, anyway. You were one of the best. It's very signed by Jason, I just need to get signed by the others. So we'll see how that happens. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I've been telling all that stuff, and I'll catch you next time.